Welcome back to the shop. This is Zach at NV Woodworks. So today we're going to be continuing our experiments to see if different resins will dissolve in acetone. So today I have some epoxy scraps. This was made with amazing clear cast from Illumilite and that's an epoxy based resin. There's also urethane based resins which we've actually already tested. If you want to check that video out and see the results, uh, link on the screen and down in the show notes. And then there's also polyester resin um, and so we'll be doing that down the road. But today we're doing epoxy so I can't wait to see. Um, so I got my jug of acetone here and I have some epoxy strips. We're going to just dunk this in acetone and what I'm going to do is we're going to leave it overnight, about 24 hours. I'm going to come back and see has it dissolved it, has it done anything to it. Then I'm going to leave it for a week if nothing has happened and come back and check it out and then if nothing's happened after seven days then we're going to leave it in for a month and we're going to come back and see will acetone dissolve epoxy. So let's get a cup full of this acetone here. We'll cut these guys up into a little bit smaller chunks, drop them in, and then we'll see what we get. All right, so it's been 24 hours. Let's pull these little strips out and see if there's been any effect from the acetone on the epoxy. Well, okay, similar to the urethane tests, this is very rubbery. I mean, this literally, this feels like rubber at this point, um, but it doesn't appear to be dissolving. Uh, I don't think that there's any real, you know, mass gone, um, but it's kind of hard to tell. It's kind of disintegrating, especially this purple, uh, this purple piece. It's kind of cracking and, you know, kind of falling apart. So um, I'll be kind of curious to see if, you know, over time this actually works. So, like I said, 24 hours, I don't think so, but it definitely has affected it. Uh, so I'm gonna pop these guys back into our acetone jar, and I'm gonna leave this for seven days, or for a week at this point, and we'll come back and we'll see if it has dissolved. All right, it's been seven days. Let's open this up and see what we got. All right, so it definitely hasn't dissolved it. It looks like everything's still intact, but it is super soft still, and it's, you know, just kind of crumbly. It's, it's, it's having an effect on it, let's say, but not dissolving it. So let's put it back under the acetone. We're gonna let it sit for another three weeks, so a total of a month, and we'll come back and we'll see if it has actually dissolved this epoxy. So it's been a month. Let's open up the jar and see what the results are. Well, there you have it. It still doesn't dissolve even after a month. So both urethane and epoxy, neither of them will fully dissolve in acetone. And I, I think acetone, there's, there's also MEK. Uh, that's maybe a little bit harsher chemical, but I think all of these things, none of them are actually going to dissolve the material. However, it does make them, you know, very soft, let's say. It, it, it has an effect on it. And so you may be wondering, what's the point of this video? Why, why are we even doing this testing? And one, one thing is people ask all the time, can you dissolve it? And so I think, you know, if you have like a spill or something or, or resin gets on something, I think people are wondering, can it, you know, is there something that will clean it up, dissolve it? And I think in that case, probably not depending on what the severity is. However, it does soften it up. And so if you get resin on something, if there's a way that you can kind of submerge that, 
then you can maybe, you know, scrape it off a little bit easier. And this actually came into play for me uh, not too long ago. So I was making micarta out of the fabric scraps and I got, you know, resin all over the clamps. And it, it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, they still worked and everything, but there was some resin, you know, kind of trapped on the inside of some of the parts of the clamp. And so what I did was just submerge it. And again, it didn't dissolve, the, and it was epoxy in that case. It didn't dissolve it completely. However, it did soften things up and I was able to clean up the clamps a little bit better. And so just kind of get that off so they work perfectly again. So, you know, there are cases for, you know, using this. This is kind of a good experiment to, to understand what, you know, these chemicals will do to resins. Now, one other area where this may be useful for some people is if you're making tube in pen blanks where, you know, you put the tube in here and you just cast resin into this mold and the resin is just adhered to the tube. You're not gluing tubes in. It's just, you know, resin and cast around that tube. If there's a problem and you want to get your tube back out, you may be able to just submerge that blank in acetone and it may allow that tube to come out a little bit easier. So again, it's not going to totally dissolve the material, but it may soften it up and make things easier for cleanup or, you know, weird use cases where you, may, you need to get that resin kind of off of something else. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful a little bit or at least interesting. Uh, you know, again, this isn't very, you know, useful in everyday casting stuff, but you know, you may run into a situation where you need to know this information and I always find it kind of fun to know what what are the tolerances what happens if I do this with resin it's always better to kind of understand as much as you can about things you know how, how are certain things going to affect whatever you're working with and so hopefully this will kind of like I said help you guys out uh, so if you're new to the channel we do all kinds of resin casting projects tips and tricks and experiments just like this so if you're interested in that kind of stuff definitely hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you get notified when new videos get posted as well as when I do live streams it'll give you a little notification beforehand and if you're thinking about getting into resin casting but you're not really sure where to begin check out my ebook the beginner's guide to resin casting it answers all those beginner questions like you know what resin should I use what do I need to get started how does it all work? It'll help you get over that initial learning curve so you can get into the shop and start making some resin cast projects of your own. It's available on my website if you're interested. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching this video and happy casting.